Hey everyone, this is Ruan. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about competitive overview and specifically performing competitive overview at revolutionary speeds in contextual format inside of a conversational AI called Splashdash. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this for a client of ours in a certain marketplace that they want to rank for. And we're going to take this information and we're going to prompt it inside of a tool called Splashdash, which you may have used before. And I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So up on my screen, you see Splashdash. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt it with what I'm looking to get out of this conversation. Uh, anytime you're using AI, I always recommend starting off with the context. In this case scenario, I'm looking to create a competitor overview. The role, I'm a digital marketer. And the task, I'm creating an SEO report. And then I always like to say ready for instructions because I don't want the AI to start working already. So now that that is in there, it's going to ask for these instructions. And mainly, guys, what I'm doing is, is I'm combining a couple of different key integrations, Moz, SEMrush, Ahrefs, SpyFu, all of these SEO tools that are built into Splashdash, and you don't need an account to access any of them. You could just use this one chat interface. So let's get started with the first prompt. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a list of competitors in that area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call on the Surf API which is going to allow our AI to leave the actual GPT function and find, in this case, the top five moving companies in Southington, Connecticut. I want to gather the top five moving companies because I want Splashdash to have con context. I want it to have contextual of what the different businesses are in that area. So here we have Connecticut Moving and Storage, which is our client, and then it's going to list their address, their phone number, their services, their hours, and then the, the competition. And so generally speaking, this result that pulls in from the AI is really just doing a Google search and then pushing that information back into Splashdash. That's what the SERP API does. It finds local search results, YouTube results. It finds anything in the search results, questions that are asked on Google, those types of things. And it puts it back directly into your uh, contextual format. Now, alternatively, you could go out there and copy and paste this all this information. But the whole goal of Splashdash is to give you these micro wins in time so that you don't have to do things like that. You don't have to have accounts with all of these different things. So let's take a look at the competition from a general perspective. So we have CT Moving, which is our client. That's this here. Um, we've been working with them for a very long time. And we always go ahead and do some of these competitive research pretty much on a monthly basis to make sure that we know what if they're on top or not. It's really critical that they're ranking at the top of the search results in their area, because that's gonna deliver them the most leads. And then we have some other competitors here. McCabe's, which is a company that's local. You can see they're also in Southington. Flynn, which is also CT moving, so that's not a really a great call. RT, which is another competitor. They're close to Southington, so they're showing up for Southington when they make a search. And then Colonial, which is in Berlin, but they're also showing up for Southington. So now what I'm going to do that I have this contextual information, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the five competitors and I'm going to call on the Moz API. And the reason I'm going to call on the Moz API is because the Moz API in this case scenario gives us access to things like the domain authority, the page authority, and the total links that are available from these domains. So running this, Splashdash now has a contextual view of all of the URLs. So I don't have to waste time on doing things like pasting each URL. Splashdash is going to run all of this for each of the domains, and then it's going to provide it to me in a table format so I can quickly and accurately see which domains are on top and which domains I'm competing against. So just by looking at this data, I can quickly see that CT Moving and Storage, which is our client, has a domain authority of 21, a page authority of 33, and has a lot of external links. While the other competition, they're ranging around probably that 16 as an average domain rating. And the cool thing about the contextual data is Splashdash will actually give you insights and recommendations. So with that being said, it will actually tell you insight from an AI perspective. So it's unbiased of each of the results inside of this listing. Now remember, I'm continuously adding context here. So in my final result, when I have Splashdash provide me a competitive overview, I'm going to be able to uh, gather all of the information 
from these different data sources. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to SEM Rush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a overview of the organic search performance of each domain. I want to get a better understanding. Now that I know the domain authorities and the page authorities, I want to gain a really good understanding of how well each of these sites are potentially performing at an organic level. So you can see that the tool is going to start calling on each of the domains separately through our server, and that's going to provide me with the result, and it's going to give me insights and recommendations. So just by looking at here, I can see that we are ahead from a backlink point of view, but our team movers and the other, comp the other competition, they're really not far off. So it's really critical that we recommend to the client to continue to do some link building if they want to stay at the top of the search results. So now we're going to go ahead and get some keywords that each domain is ranking at the top for, and then some analysis. As you can see for our brand, we're ranking for our main term, we're ranking for a good term, a town term, moving service term, and more town terms. And that's specifically because we've done a lot of SEO around some of these towns to rank for the town itself or the city itself as people may be looking to move in those areas. Now looking at McCabe's, they have Southington Moving Companies and then their brand. Looking at RT, they have RT Relocation, which is their brand, New Haven CT Crime, which I actually think is really interesting that they're targeting content around crime and safety for these different towns. And then we have the Colonial, which is the final competitor, which is really just their brand terms are showing up as much. And then looking at the analysis, and remember all of this is information that I can send to our client, CT Moving shows strong organic performance, and then it also provides some valuable feedback on each of the other domains, and then provides recommendations. So really cool to get some of that data directly inside of SEMrush. But now what I want to do is I want to gain similar information. Just this time, I want to know the organic traffic. And I want Splashdash to talk to SEMrush to give me domain overview of each domains to give me organic and paid search rankings. Uh, traditionally speaking, you can log into a platform and do this and notate all of this and put it into a contextual format as you're seeing here. But when you're using AI, it's great to see the information as it's not biased, but then it's also great to make sure that you're getting all of this text written for you. So if a client asks for this, or if you're curious and you wanna share this with your team, it's instantly available. So now let's take a look and take a look and see what the results are. So for CT Moving and Storage, our brand, we have 1600 keywords, 2000 organic visitors, and a really high organic cost, which I really like. The ads data is never really accurate when it comes to these paid tools. Um, the only way you're gonna get accurate ad data is if you integrate something like Google Ads into Splashdash. Um, but ultimately, it's this is kind of the information that we're really focusing on. So you can see that McCabe's, we wouldn't even consider them a competitor at this point, only because their organic cost is really significantly lower than that of CT Moving and Storage. And the key here is, $332 is what they would be investing in PPC if they were trading their organic keywords, whereas CT Moving, they're getting 18K a month of value. RT Moving, we have similarly more organic traffic, which is interesting than us, and more organic keywords, but ultimately less organic cost, meaning they're ranking for more terms, which likely has to do with that term that they were ranking for, this one here, which was the New Haven CT Crime. They have more of these terms that they're ranking for, but they're not necessarily high value terms that are going to lead to revenue and that advertisers are willing to bid on. So it's really important that when you're doing SEO or when you're doing marketing or when you're doing PPC, you're targeting the terms that people are going to want to bid on so that you rank higher on the search results and actually get conversions. So scrolling down Colonial, I would also similar kind of situation, only 24.75 in traffic value. I would not consider them a main competitor of us. So looking at the data, we have significant organic presence and a lot of organic keywords and traffic. RT has the strongest organic presence, but they have less of the actual organic traffic that's worth money. And so obviously if we're doing SEO or if we're doing PPC, we want to make sure that all of the keywords that we have are ultimately turning into some revenue for us. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one last more, and I want to gain a solid understanding of the links. So I'm going to ask SEM Rush to compare the backlink profiles of each domain, and I want to know what's going on and where the link analysis falls into place for each of these domains. As I said before, if our domain authority is just ahead of the competition, it's very possible that they can beat us for some of the keyword phrases that we're targeting 
if they continue to raise their domain authority. So ideally what we would do is we would continue to do this analysis and potentially getting listed on a lot of the different backlinks that are available from the competition and running a link analysis on a tool like Semrush or Moz or, Yellow, or, uh, or uh, Ahrefs is a really good way of doing this. So let's take a look. So a lot of this is uh, you know, information that can be found through the front end of a tool like Semrush. Um, but really, what's really cool about this is I can put it into a chat interface. So you can see how um, it's giving me some information about all of the different links, specifically the ranges of the sampled backlinks, which is really important. And then it's providing me with analysis. So uh, these two ones clearly are the main competitors in that area because they have high robust backlink profiles with high quality relevant links. And then these two have less links, um, significantly weaker and then moderate. So the lowest would be McCabe's, the moderate would be Colonial, and then basically it's providing you with some recommendations on what to do continuing the report. Now to kind of wrap this up, now that I have this really good contextual window of different APIs calls that I've made using Splashdash with the tools that are available, what I can now do is I can prompt a competitive market report highlighting the top companies, their domain metrics, et cetera. And what that's gonna do is it's going to use the native AI function on GPT-4, and it's going to give me a clear and clear cut marketing report to demonstrate all of the information that I've collected. This is really good information as you're about to get on a sales call, as you're about to present to a client, if you have an update meeting with a client, if you're trying to sell a business, if you're trying to just understand if that market is even something you can wanna, you wanna uh, go into, this is going to give you in about two minutes the actual unbiased information about that area using all of the SEO tools that are really, really critical to your success. So let's take a look at what the report says. So the report says that CT Moving and Storage shows a high domain authority. So this is the leader in the market. McCabe's is the lowest in the market. So if this customer came to me and said, I want to rank against McCabe's, I could pretty much guarantee that. Uh, and then these two, if they wanted to rank against these two, I could also pretty much guarantee that. The reason for that is because the domain authority of 21 is higher than the 16, so they have a higher chance of ranking in the top search results. Now, I want to make it very clear, too, that if I wanted to get, let's say, the DR, which is the Ahrefs version of domain authority, I can run the domains to get DR, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to call on Ahrefs. If you're more comfortable using their way of measuring the domain information, you can use a different tool to actually accomplish that. And so for this case scenario, I would then run a GPT call here for Ahrefs and then gather that information if you're more comfortable with the DR information. But let's continue looking at the data. So keyword insights, uh, you can see that CT Moving dominates with strategic keyword targeting. And this is really based on the uh, amount of value for each keyword. McCabe shows limited RT demonstrated focus approach, Colonial maintains, and then organic traffic. You can see the domains that led organic traffic in that market. You can see the domains that led for backlink profiles in that organic target. You can see what stands out and why, and then you can see the different recommendations for this information. So if I'm ever getting into a conversation with a customer about SEO, or if I'm doing SEO on one of my sites, this is the type of competitive research that I'll do inside of a tool like Splashdash that will allow me to connect all of the different APIs into one chat interface to get me contextual information that I can also just copy and send to clients or copy and send to my team. And so, for example, here you can also see in this example, just to follow up on that, the domain rating. This time I call an Ahrefs and not Moz. Now I can get the domain rating, which is Ma or Ahrefs way of doing this. And you can see it still correlates that our brand domain, CT Moving and Storage, has a higher domain rating. Uh, and so no matter which way you use it, they all use similar formulas. Uh, in this video, I wanted to demonstrate to you how you can get all of this information, competitive research specifically, inside of one chat and how I would go about that. So once again, it would be find the results in the search, run a scan to find the domain authority, run a scan to find keyword overview, run a scan to find URL overview, run a scan to do a link intersect, and then from there, you should have a comprehensive market overview of whether you can rank a client or not within a couple of prompts. So if you have enjoyed this video, let me know. And I hope you use this unique feature of Splashdash and conversational AI just in general to do competitive overview. And I'll see you in the next one.